The happy face is back. And yes, I am officially returned to Walt Disney World here for part of our 2022 part of this trip. After 10 years of a decades. Now I'm gonna tell you this one. Why don't you and I head into our springs and take a tour around here. Look at that gorgeous day here. A very hot day here for the weather of Florida back here in Disney Springs. I'm seeing a lot of uh, great stuff around here. I'm taking a little uh, great walk around from this uh, from this part of the, the in-town in section. This is kind of like an outlet. It's kind of like an outlet to me. But this is the one that I've never gone into. I'm really happy to be back here for this Disney Springs. And here's one thing I, I have done it here before, here at part of a Disney Springs. So I went into Chicken Guy's uh, counter food and uh, at lunch, I tried something a little bit different here and this was the Bourbon Barbecue uh, Chicken flavor. For this sandwich, I'm just gonna tell you this, the guy's um, food place was just, oh my. I'm gonna tell you this one, how I react to it. When I try this one here, I'm gonna tell you uh, how I how it tastes like, because you'll never know when this one comes out. Do it. How is it? Out of bounds. <laughs> I know, right? I mean. I'm not literally out of bounds, like it's not like I'm out of bounds from the from the from the court side or from the soccer field. But I'm just saying out of bounds this like this food was delicious. I mean I love it here. Hey guy, shout out for the guy on Food Network. This was the best uh, chicken guy ever. I love it so much. This is the biggest store I have ever seen here since coming to this uh, to this store. Um, from passing over decades. I've never seen anything changing like this so far. Like the pride collection and, and other stuff. I mean, this is like, a, this is amazing. I can't believe it. Just to add a voiceover, we have some a little ornaments going on underneath the globe. This one's like a fancy one. I don't know how many, much room I'm gonna put in for my Christmas tree, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is. But it looks very nice. They also got candy bars across from the aisles of the floor. Definitely uh, different flavors in between. Also with the coffee part of the mixture that they all really want. And definitely across the other side of it is the puzzle pieces. They like the pictures here. You can put it together on your own. And you can buy it, whatever you like. Pixar's Christmas, this is 50th anniversary. I mean, this is like very big. I'm telling you why, because this is the biggest store that everybody really loves to come here and then take the buying places that they really wanted to do. I've already, uh, I only just did search it here for this uh, part, of a, part of the puzzle pieces. That's like a thousand of them. I mean, I like, I like to do that one here, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna try to like buy this one, but, but if you guys have one, let me uh, know in the comments down here below if you have the kind of puzzle. I would love to. Over there on the other hand, we have the little magic bands across from the hanger of the section. There's so much to uh, bring things in here. Every cost you get, and it doesn't matter which one is your favorite. There are a bunch of uh, magic bands available at the store, whatever you could buy one here or not. Or you may use your Disney Wish card to get back into it. And there are some ornaments over here. I mean, look at that. Great deco design. And I'm gonna tell you why. Well, it's because how well they had made. It's definitely awesome. Can't go wrong with that. And they got a bunch of stuff here. Different categories of each part of the movies that they watch of Disney. That is insane. I like it. Now into the art of Disney. It's part of the animation of part of the museum that they have created here. In every background, 
They have done it the most ones, just like you've seen here on Disney movie sets. I mean, they're definitely a uh, great autographic. Not my favorite thing to do to just uh, buy it, but just look at the pictures, how well they did. Including Phantasma. I mean, that one's a great picture. I like that one the most. Here's the designer. That's Walt. Yep, one man's dream, they call him. That's a lot. Great stories for him. These prices are over here are expensive. I mean, who's gonna wanna uh, pay this one? I mean, maybe you have a lot of money. You wanna buy something here on your birthday? Maybe you would. I would love to hear yours if you got one. Don't have to, but you will. Over there on the left, there are more pictures up there. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just scanning each from top to bottom of each picture frames. But don't get me wrong, because I've always been uh, taking a look at it. And there are so many uh, graphic design that they have done that they have paid here the most uh, over the decades or even like 20 years ago or even more. This is like over a 50th anniversary coming down this wire of the 50th anniversary. I mean, this is the best picture. I'd love to see it when when you're coming back to Disney here. You can definitely uh, view your pictures and says, hmm, which one do I like the most? I mean, it's your choice. You can definitely uh, choose it whatever you want. That sounds terrific. Awesome. I mean, that's the cool. biggest picture I've never seen. I even before. like that Magic Kingdom poster over there. Who uh, wanted to get over with the background? This, uh, yeah, These the are like of those really creepy. Here. Man, can't go play it. That is insane. I mean, I love those concepts. I love them. I was not even noticing how big they are. Great deck of design. I mean. That one was the best, uh, a best picture of the, of the year. That, that, I had never seen this one here before. Wow. I forgot about this picture over here. I think uh, I think this one's gonna be like very very expensive to forget about that. If you're a Disney fan, I would highly recommend it to uh, to purchase this one. That is pretty big. If you even have seen it on Disney Plus, well, that might be the only thing that you are gonna love. Not even just a kitchen cabaret over here. Feels good when you need them. Or this one. Or this one apart. They got Arts of Disney. On demand. Have a quick closer look. You're gonna enjoy it. I also spotted some more uh, art designs over here, like um, like uh, like any kind. If it's uh, if it's like so so templating into your heart. Even of course this one right over here. I mean I like it. How they put the graphic of the design right over here. I think they're gonna love this one here. And your kids are going to be really excited when they pop it up. And then definitely when they deliver it, they have it on the wall. And then you're going to be very happy to be seeing, like, very are going to love it. And so is you all, if you are a fan of a Disney. You don't have to be, but if you want to, you can definitely do this one on your own anytime. Thanks to, thanks to this one. Great design by Fiddle Santiago. Yep, we're right by this mountain. That is pretty interesting. See this part of a rainforest cafe. Yep, in close up. Nice to see the car on the boat. I don't know if you're gonna uh, have to do this, but if you want to, go ahead and give this one a try. Man, a lot of people are like coming in here in the line for T-Rex. This is where we were eight here last time. Um, back when it used to be uh, downtown Disney. But now it used to be at uh, Disney Springs. So yeah, this is the one that we went to so far. I really had like this, how um, how this nice prop is set up. Especially the fossils. Yeah, yeah, dinosaurs are extinct, definitely. One thing I did not know about is, 
is that the paddle fish, that is like a biggest uh, house boat. And also have a little, um, a little uh, entrance going on here in between. It looks like a, just definitely like a uh, restaurant that I, yeah, I have not seen this one come in here. I mean, I never have been in here to the paddlefish before. Not to so anybody know that they have a, a dinner on a boat. Well, sometimes most people do, but I think it's really different. Not comparison to the to the land, the land restaurant, to boat restaurant, or by the dock. But I'm gonna definitely tell not to worry. But this is really that different over there. When you're going outside here from the Rainforest Cafe, or right over to uh, the T-Rex uh, restaurant back there. This was a little different than nobody has ever had done before. And here's what I have not seen before. This section of the boathouse. Sometimes on the next side, you'll see that one. On the other hand, right by the lighthouse. I was also expecting that restaurant over there. It was like popping up right by the Ampla cars. They were always lucky to be here. But the Empire launch, this shuttle, this car is like sick. Yeah, this is really uh, amazing. You can get the car on the boat. This is how it, where it begins. When you come in, and then it will take you right on to the water from the street. This looks amazing. I mean, everybody's gonna love that one here. They're gonna definitely enjoy it. Let's see how will they go. How far will they go? And right by the boat house where they were at. Not really too much to see here, but that's all where it comes at. Pretty amazing. This is another good angle. When they get in the water, they're just gonna have an epic car launch right here. Yeah, that's that's where it's gonna be at. And we are right by next to this car by a giant big air ride balloon. Yeah. I mean, I have never usually seen it so far. It's just like, it's like I have never seen it. It's quite obvious before, and that's the brush on over here, a couple of way inches back, where you could see it before that we went. Irish pub, not really, uh, not really 100%, but you know, one thing at a time. Really, you just never gonna let that one go by, and that's a tons of stuff down there. Splitsville, that's like a bowling, uh, bowling part. And also down across House of Blues, that's what you see. The biggest, biggest part of the house. A little, a little rare and common. But hey, you'll never know when, when this will pop up. Even Circus Soleil, over there behind. All right, here's a quick look over here. They're gonna like take a dip in here. Yep, here they go. Here they go. is insane i would i would recommend for you guys if you if you like the amplifier uh, amplicar of this ride i would highly recommend you do that one here fully booked here but like i'm gonna tell that is genius wow there's two of them in the water can't believe it here they come going back out and on the drive nice All right, here's another one over here. That is the Irish pub we went to. Right up there, that you remember this one so far. <sighs> that is a great place, but um, I was never seeing how this one pops up, but this looks very good so far. Yeah, I know, we've been waiting in here underneath the boat house for like a long time. It was like raining already, but now it's not. It just, it just stopped just a little bit. We're, we're okay. We didn't rush, but we're doing very good so far. A nice uh, look of a review over here. In between by the uh, rivers from the Trinity Creek. In between the bridge to bridge. Really, I uh, really like how this looks. How this land goes. I even expectedly going back on that side too. Oh man, we are just, 
we're just enjoying our time here at Disney Springs, but it looks like uh, we're going back the art way where I began. This time, it's like already into the fall. It turned out to be just like this place. Not for this one, like a little summer paradise here. Temperature hottest already. I was wishing I could definitely go in the pool and enjoy the day here in Florida. I mean, I am never surrounded by the winter of this storm. But there's a lot happening around here at this store. Like the springs of the town have outlets. Pretty amazing. Uh, everybody really likes it. Well, for Disney Springs, I gotta say, this was a very fun walk around here for the shop, the stores. And right now we're just about to be leaving and head to the lodge. And this is where we are staying, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. That's the Cirque du Soleil show, right from the white tent if you're looking at it. And above from here, we spot a new one. It's this Disney Skyliner. I have never seen it going up ever again. This is kind of like a, a ski lift that you could take high from the sky and then go right to the top of the mountain. I mean, this is very insane. All right, before I close this video off, here I'm at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. This outside looks looks different. No, I'm not kidding. There's waterfalls over here. This outside of the path, that that is a pool over there you're looking at. I was just amazed. I was just not even looking at it all the time. Yeah, this is yeah, this is in the place I've never I've never come to this hotel over here of the lodge. That looks sick. Jacuzzi in the back. I did not see them. This one's a playground. No other hotels have seen this playground like this. No. I have not ever seen this one here before. Like that. And here is a good look over here. We got an overlook view from the safari and when you're looking at while you're looking at over here, you're looking at flamingos. Hello, flamingos. Hello, Chris Dude. You really want to see me that really well. How amazing do you feel? Oh. Oh, that's good. I, I really like it. They got gazelles over there. They got some little animals over there way down way down far, but don't worry. There'll be lots more happening around here when we get a, when we go around from this side of a hotel to look straight ahead. But that looks pretty amazing. I have never seen this one before since returning for the decades. That is insane. And there's that giraffe. Hello, giraffe. That's an impressive animal. Nice. What's really cool about it is you can definitely uh, sight the sight this scene from each Savannah Valley locations already. They got a bunch of zoos already here, comparing it to the Six Flags, um, the Wild Off Road Safari, to this one. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit better because uh, Six Flags. I mean, it's a little different here. Well, comparing it to the. Uh, the drive-through wild safari if you already have seen the video here i would highly recommend that one out you may never know what this will come out to expect but that is looks amazing even with my smile on their face like it that's always me when i always really enjoyed it too you know that's the thing you get the only thing that you really wanted to go for you got it all of it done what are those ducks doing in here They wanted to just hang out with the flamingos. Fun and games already in here. Yeah, I don't. I have never seen it. What's going on? Oh, 
classic arcade. A little new one. Oh, you remember this. Somebody might be playing some bingo table on the, on, on the table set. Nobody knows that for sure. And that's the Mara. Mara. If you pronounce it correct, Mara. That's what you have to pronounce it. So I was not even configuring this one out, but looks very good. Thanks for the chose of this uh, hotel. I think we're gonna uh, enjoy it here, and also with uh, also with the family of of the mom and the dad. We also gonna love it too. Well, that's gonna do here for the Disney Springs, and of course this lodge of the Animal Kingdom Lodge that we get to explore. This is the biggest uh, hotel lodge ever. I think I think this one's a lot that bigger. This one's nice. Yeah, I'm sorry, but comparing to the Wilderness Lodge, the first time went, and the Caribbean Beach here that I went there is the second there twice for Walt Disney World. But this one here, I, this one's like perfect. I love this one here so much because you could get definitely do anything when you want. There's a bunch of uh, Savannah trails and every rose at the point of view. You're gonna definitely love that one here if you're gonna uh, live here. If not, then you should try visiting here. There might be some different stuff here. And if you're right next to the Animal Kingdom theme park, I think you should go ahead and check this one out. You're gonna definitely love it there if you really like to check it out. So anyway, if that's gonna do here for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this one, make sure you give that one a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button here because we're gonna have tons of more videos here of Walt Disney World's Resort of the Lodge. We're gonna have tons of fun here. We're gonna see what we could do. Lots of stuff happening out there. This is, there is so many stuff here comparing it to Six Flags and Hershey Park or any other theme parks here. This is definitely what everyone was talking about here. So if you like that video here, make sure you make sure to give that one a thumbs up as I just said here before. And also make sure you follow me on my social media, Instagram and Snapchat, probably not, TikTok. Yeah, I, I kept confusing it wrong, but don't worry about the Snapchat. That will be discontinued here. I'm not active on uh, Snapchat for this point, but sometimes I will be on here just in case if uh, anything changes. So anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out, peoples. For a while as the Orlando arrival dial from this plane to tram and to the cars to here. So anyways, peace out and until then for as well. See ya.